Hey people of the grid, Mike Kerr here. I'm in Calgary, just pretty much done my day. Uh, spent it downtown in meetings, so it was uh, very productive, very good. I'm just on my way home now because I've got to get my stuff. I'm traveling up to Edmonton. I've got some meetings up there tomorrow. Tomorrow. And um, yeah, so I've got to get a road trip done. First, I got to go home. I got to pack up. I got to hug Tammy and the kids. Anyway, I got to get stuff ready and I got to go. So yeah, here we go. While I hit the road, I'm gonna grab supper either once I get to Edmonton or along the way. Wanted to get there earlier. I've got some calls I gotta make. I can do that here in the Light Runner on the drive up. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be a good drive. Not too traffic-y. We've kind of made it outside of the rush hour, so looking pretty good. And then I'll be back in Calgary tomorrow night. So it's just a, an overnight one day trip. The weather is holding out. We are still out of the snow. So other than those two massive snowfalls that we had, which brought the city to a screeching halt, um, that snow is all gone. You can't even tell that it snowed on us. And now we're just in this kind of late fall type weather, which is perfect for this time of year. If you can stay like this for another, oh, three weeks, four weeks, that would be, that'd be good. Alright, made it to Edmonton. I'm in a Hilton hotel. Totally forgot. I booked it like yesterday, but uh, I'm in a Hilton. Nice hotel. I'm going to drop off my stuff. Then I'm going to go get supper. Then I'm going to go for a workout. If all works out well, I'm going to go for a workout. No promises though. Hasn't been going good by the way. So this trip, I'm rocking the Hampton Inn. I normally stay here. The four points which has a charger for the Tesla and that's where I normally go and plug the car now the beauty of these two hotels the Hampton Inn and the Sheraton four points is they're owned by the same person and so I get parking privileges over there in their underground parkade which has the chargers for electric cars it has one Tesla charger and I think two or three Sun Country uh, J1772 electric vehicle car charger so it's the perfect place um, so I'm all set up I'm just gonna go for supper and then later when I come back I'll go drop the car off over there in the morning the car will be full this trip I think is the first trip that I have ever done where I've gone all the way from Calgary to Edmonton without stopping in Red Deer normally I pit stop in Red Deer I get some emails done I charge up a little bit go to the washroom eat if I need to but I figured today I would have supper here and that I could make it all the way I actually made it here with uh, 74 kilometers left in the uh, battery which is tons it's like literally more than I need I've got yeah 74 clicks it's about I don't know 16 percent 15 percent plenty of juice to get me over to dinner get me back here get the car plugged in uh, charge it up for my meetings tomorrow and then I've got running around juice easy easy oh and on the drive here autopilot is much more finicky than it ever used to be it really wants the driver to check in with the car it asks you if you're there and uh, if you don't respond when within you know a couple of seconds of it asking you you get a strike it, it just goes it remembers that you didn't respond to me once and then it'll you know if it happens again that's strike two and then after your third strike autopilot just taps out and says you know what i can't i don't want to be responsible i don't want to drive anymore 
and the only way to get autopilot to come back to you is to pull over stop or you know put it in park and then you know start going again which is a bit of a pain that happened to me once on my way up here i was talking with tammy and i would had my hands on the wheel but uh, apparently i wasn't giving it enough input and so it it tapped out on me but i was close enough to to getting here i i drove manually for the rest of the way it's so weird because you don't realize i don't need these you don't realize how much you rely on and use autopilot until it taps out and says yeah i'm good i'm not driving anymore then you're like ah oh, now i gotta drive i gotta really drive yeah i love it i love it and it's just gonna get better and better supper Well, it's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. It's been a while. My wife was making fun of me for driving a dirty car. It's better now. So Tammy, I didn't, I didn't dry it with a chamois because I don't know where my chamois is. I didn't have it, so gonna air dry like me you know I just realized something the light runner my car is now cleaner than Cora Tammy's Model X that's a first I think we're just going to enjoy this for a while, shall we? All right. Rest of the night, just going to be uh, hanging out in the hotel. Like I said, I've got this workout thing that I'm in the bad time of year. I'm in the time of year where <clears throat> historically workouts are just hard for me to do. The time period is roughly between April and end of December. I'm really good at January through April. Nailed it on those months. The rest of the year, it's not that in, not feeling it. So what I'm gonna try and do this year is get back into it. I, you know what, I, I stop, but I keep trying to get back in. I have to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go tonight. And if all works out well, I'll even get up early tomorrow before my day starts, which I always get up early. I'm usually up around six, 5.30 some days, sometimes earlier. If I can get up early enough tomorrow, I'll get a day two workout in. That's what I'm gonna try and do. I'll let you know how it goes. Man, it gets dark out here so quick, so car is uh, parked and charging and uh, I got my food to go with the thought that uh, it'll be my reward for after a workout so I'm planning for me to get to this workout well like I said I don't know what's gonna happen I think I'm gonna go but uh, you know how it goes I think I'm gonna go I think I, I think I can I think I So here's the thing, <laughs> I'm here, I'm gonna do the workout. I went to the front desk thinking, I don't have a bottle of water, so I can't work out without water. And even though I'm not a Hilton uh, Points member kind of guy, they gave me a courtesy bottle of water. And then I thought, well, maybe the fitness room will be full and I won't be able to get on a machine. Turns out it's completely empty. I've got the whole room to myself and I've got a machine. So let's get this workout done. Okay, well, I'm not gonna say that was easy, but uh, it's done.
thinking about tomorrow, I've got an early start, so I don't know if I'll be able to get down here tomorrow morning. I'd like to try, but uh, since I'm just since I'm just getting back into this thing, I don't want to uh, go too hard and throw myself off. So maybe I'll commit to definitely going on Thursday, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, we'll take it from there. Good job, guys. Thanks for the support.